Okay, welcome, welcome back to uh, part two. Now, um, I mentioned earlier that um, when uh, uh, I got this device, we went uh, for the uh, Tornado Tank conversion kit version. Um, and uh, along with uh, all the other stuff I've shown you, you also get five empty tank cartridges. And you also get, um, obviously, uh, an atomizer as well. The black atomizer I showed you before, there it is, is one I already had. But you also get this atomizer as well, sort of goldy coloured platinum, I think they call it, um, atomizer um, with the kit. And in order to be able to connect it to the screwdriver, you also get a converter. So the converter just screws into the uh, into the device. And uh, I'm going to try and do this, this uh, single-handed, which is... Uh, uh, going to be a bit of a joke. Let's get see if I can do that. There we go. It just proves how easy it screws down. So that screws down onto the device like that, and then your atomizer just uh, screws onto the end like that. He says, "Can he do it one-handed?" Um, hang on a minute. I will get it on there. There she goes. I'll start the thread off, and that screws down there. And uh, that's quite a nice-looking device as well. Um, not sure actually that the goldy colour goes with the silver atomizer. It's a bit of an odd combination. Could do with a, a silver coloured uh, um, tornado atomizer, uh, in my view. But uh, there you go. And I think with those, that combination, you've got a great vaping device. It really kicks out a lot of vapor. So you've got a great uh, fluid um, delivery mechanism. Very good atomizer, I believe, on these, and also the uh, screwdriver, which is, of course, effectively a battery holder with a switch. That's really what most of these devices are all about. Um, as far as the battery is concerned, let's say you get two of these. They run at, as you can see here, 3.7 volts, and they're running 900 milliamps. And uh, if you're not entirely sure about amperage, um, 900 milliamps is 0.9 of an amp. Um, so it's almost one amp. So that means it's going to deliver a lot of vaping um, for a good few hours. Now, I'd regard myself as um, a pretty hefty vapor. I do vape a lot. And one of these batteries will last me most of the day. Um, I will probably go through... Um, if you like, one and a half batteries. Um, and because I had the original screwdriver, which incidentally had exactly the same battery charger, um, I've actually got two of these chargers. So um, I can charge both batteries at the same time overnight. But, um, you know, again, these batteries do last a long time, um, if uh, even if you're a heavy va vapour. And they don't take too long to charge, a couple of hours, something like that, I think. Um, so, um, you know, very, very good. Now, the big problem I had, as I mentioned earlier, with the original screwdriver was the switch. Uh, the switch mechanism um, wasn't great. Um, so, with the Totally Wicked switch, uh, or the, sorry, the uh, Mark II screwdriver switch, you have a much, much better mechanism. Now, let me take the battery out there. Um, inside, you'll see what looks like a screw. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put the camera down because I want to uh, loosen this screw off a little bit. And I'm just using my finger. And I've just loosened it off a little bit. So I just put my finger in there, put my nail into that um, in, into that screw slot and now what I'm going to do hopefully is just gently unscrew the end cap um, is it coming? I think it is we will see looks like it possibly is there we go there's the end cap come off and you'll see the spring just fall out after that and now I'm going to turn that upside down and this little component comes out and that is the switch. Those three components. Basically, the let's change hands will be a bit easier, I think. The shaft of the switch, which is solid metal, okay, and that moves up against the battery to make connection. 
the spring to give it the switch action and of course the button. Now the other thing that I like about this um, setup is that if you look inside the button you've actually got a brass insert. So if you imagine if you dropped your device onto the ground onto concrete or something like that and the plastic, this black plastic button uh, cracked or split and fell off you've still got a smaller button inside being the brass um, uh, the brass nipple if you like which screws it onto the main button shaft and you can carry on vaping quite happily totally wicked supply replacement switches which is excellent um, they don't cost a lot of money and if you look at all of this what's going to fail in this switch well okay you might break the black plastic let's forget that for a minute nothing's going to fail in this it's absolutely solid metal um, that's not going to break. Um, you might lose the spring. If you lose the spring, obviously you can get a replacement from Totally Wicked, which is excellent. Um, and therefore you have a very, very robust switch mechanism. And that for me was incredibly important um, because it's not going to fail on you. Uh, whereas the switch mechanism in the original screwdriver would fail on you. That I can promise you there. Um, it's probably worth, <clears throat> if you do buy one of these devices, it's probably worth buying a spare switch just for the spring alone, in my view. Um, because it, when you take it apart to clean it, you know, um, if you do lose the spring, then you've got a bit of a problem. Um, but other than that, you can see it's very, very simple. The simplest ideas are the best ideas, as you know. And that one works extremely well, in my view. <clears throat> right, so that's the, the switch mechanism. It goes back together extremely easily. It's just a case of dropping that in, putting the spring on, and screwing the cap back on, and you're ready to vape again. Um, that effectively is the screwdriver. You've got, in my view, an excellent battery, an excellent atomizer, and, of course, using the tank combination an excellent fluid delivery system all delivered in a very very attractive and robust electronic nicotine inhalator device this is a chromed finished version as I say there is a black version as well um, it's absolutely solid it's going to last forever um, incidentally you'll see here on this small lanyard a cap and that cap is to put over the button so if you are putting this in your pocket it's not going to go off by accident um, that is a, an extremely simple idea um, and it just works effectively it's um, I, I didn't like the idea of putting a, a dangly on the end of the uh, vaping device but actually it's very good it works extremely well and of course there's not really anything here to break. There's nothing here to fail. It's just straightforward. There's no mechanism or complexity um, to go wrong. So it's just a simple idea and it just works. So the combination of all of these things work brilliantly for me. Thoroughly recommend it. Um, and really nothing else to say other than uh, go and check it out. I don't think you'll be disappointed. I'm certainly not. And um, hope you enjoyed the video and uh, we'll catch you again soon. Cheers for now.